Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can find out who restarted or shut down a Windows server. So if you would like to know who restarted or shut down a Windows server in your organization, you can make use of event logs and PowerShell. Information about the user account who triggered the restart or shutdown is stored in Windows event logs. So I will open up Event Viewer by right-clicking on the Start menu and clicking on Event Viewer. Now this is not the only way to open up Event Viewer. There are a couple of ways to open Event Viewer. Another method is to open up Run Window and typing in event vwr.msc, which is the MMC snap-in for Event Viewer. One more method is to open up the Server Manager console and click on Tools and click on Event Viewer. And one last method that I can think of is click on the Start menu and look for Windows Administrative Tools. And here you can see Event Viewer. Now back in Event Viewer, if you go to Windows Logs and click on System, here you can see the entire system logs. But if you right click on system and click on filter current logs, in the filter box, you can type in the event ID 1074 and click on OK. Now it will show only the shutdown or reboot events in this list. You can open a log of a specific date and time and see who initiated reboot or shutdown of Windows operating system. So I've clicked on the first one in the list and you can see the details such as the process which initiated the reboot and who is the user. In this case, it says wsmproviderhost.exe is the process that initiated the restart of the computer and the user is dc01 slash administrator, which is my domain admin account. It will also show you the reason code. In this case, it is 0x. 800, 221. It shows you the shutdown type, which is restart in this case. In some cases, it will also show you the comments. Here you can see the computer is being restarted because Active Directory Domain Services was installed or removed. So the computer rebooted on its own after installing the ADDS services. In the next log, it says, that it is winlogon.exe process that triggered the restart on behalf of system, which has the username nt-authority backslash system. And the reason code is 0x500ff. And you can see the shutdown type is restart. In this case, it is not showing any comments. So if you don't have the comments or a proper reason for why the system was rebooted, you can always Google this reason code. So if I search for the reason code 0x500ff, then it means that there was a system failure. In the next log, it has the reason operating system reconfiguration planned, and it has a different reason code, which is 0x8402-0004. And you can see it shows the username, which is my domain administrator. And the other one is operating system upgrade planned, which has a different reason code, which is 0x800-20003. This could be due to Windows update. So this is how you would find from event logs who restarted or shut down the computer. Now you can also get this information about restart or shutdown events from PowerShell by running the command get Windows event filter hash table for log name system and the ID is 1074. So here I'm filtering for the event ID 1074 in the system logs using the command get windows event. And then I'm going to dump the output for time created, the event ID and the message. So I'm going to press enter. So this command will show you the complete message as is you would see in the event viewer. But if you want to break down or filter the message, then you can run this small script in the PowerShell. In here, I'm using get event log command and specifying the log name system. And I'm querying for the event ID 1074. And then I'm going to select the first 10 events. 
For each event, I'm going to capture things such as date, user, action, process, reason, and reason code, and put it into a variable called $RV. And then I'm going to run few string commands to format these attributes and store the attributes in their own variables. And then I will list the output in the list format. And by the way, I'm going to put the earlier command and this partial script in the description window of this video. So I'm going to press enter here. All right, now you can see the date, action, reason, user, and the process. You can also use PowerShell to access the event log on a remote host. So for example, I'm going to type the command invoke command minus computer name. Here I'm going to specify server 01, which is another computer in my environment. And I'm going to specify a script block. And within the script block, I'm going to type get hyphen win event minus filter hash table. And within an expression, I'm going to query the log name, which is system. And the event ID is 1074. And I'm going to close the expression. And now I'm going to select the objects such as time created, ID, message. And this time I'm just going to select the first event. And I'm going to close the script block and I'm going to press enter. Okay, so you can see it here. By the way, event ID 1074 is for the graceful server reboots or shutdown. But if your Windows was restarted unexpectedly due to power failure or blue screen, then you can search for the event ID 6008. So you can see the messages which says that the previous shutdown was unexpected. And if there was a blue screen error, then it will typically show a bug check ID. All right, I hope this has been useful in finding who restarted or shut down the server. I thank you for watching this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.